Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. Let's talk about Zana. Zana, one of the four victims that was brutally stabbed inside a home in Moscow, Idaho, during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Police have made no arrests. They haven't found the murder weapon, which is a knife. And they're looking for a white Hyundai Elantra. They think the individual or individuals driving a white Hyundai Elantra has critical information where they could be involved. But let's talk about Zana. Zana used to work for Texas Roadhouse. And I want to show you something and then we will discuss. Check it out. This individual made a public Facebook post is at Texas Roadhouse in Core D'Alene, Idaho. Please join us on Monday, November 21st from 3 p.m. at Texas Roadhouse. We will be no donating a portion of our sales to the families of Zana, Ethan Madison, and Kaylee. Texas Roadhouse in Core D'Alene wants to do what we can to support the families of the University of Idaho students who tragically had their lives taken too soon. Zana was part of our roadie family before she moved to Moscow, and she will be dearly missed. Our deepest condolences go out to the families and friends of these four students. Texas Roadhouse. So Zana worked at Texas Roadhouse before she moved to Moscow. And this is the obituary for Zana. She was 20 years old. Scrolling down here and um, says she grew up in Post Falls and was a talented gymnast as a child. She attended Post Falls Middle School and High School where she played volleyball, track, and soccer until she graduated in 2020. During high school, she worked at Texas Roadhouse and went on to attend the University of Idaho. So her obituary also says that she once worked at Texas Roadhouse, Zana, in Core D'Alene, Idaho. So it's been confirmed that Zana, one of the victims, used to work for Texas Roadhouse. She's originally from the Post Falls, Idaho area to the north. And when you think of Texas Roadhouse or when the name Texas Roadhouse comes up, what do you think about? What's your first thought? Steaks, juicy steaks, delicious steaks. But what do you cut a steak with? Yeah, a knife. In all seriousness, a knife. Now, police haven't made any arrests. I hope the authorities are looking into these victims' jobs and where they worked at prior. I know Zana used to also work at the Mad Greek. But do you think possibly with any of these victims it was a co-worker or someone that frequent the business they worked at? Do you think authorities spoke to anyone at Texas Roadhouse where Zano used to work? Maybe interview some employees there and find out if she had any negative interactions with anyone there, any stalkers from there. Did anyone on Zana's friends list still work at Texas Roadhouse? Or anyone that she's met in her friends list through her job while she was working at Texas Roadhouse? Because you can get knives there. And you can get big knives there. Considering that this case is about a stabbing with a large single blade knife. Though they say K-Bar. Knife. Texas Roadhouse. Big knives. Cut stakes. Throwing that out there. Hopefully authorities checked and asked around employees of these victims' previous jobs. I'm sure they asked around at the Mad Greek where Zana and Maddie used to work. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I am covering this case. Who did this crime? Community's on edge. Internet is going wild wondering what happened. Lots of speculation out there. Police are not giving out very much information, little information. Matter of fact, they haven't spoke for a while about this case. Is this case going cold? What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts about Zana working at Texas Roadhouse? Do you think... Prior businesses should be vetted. You think authorities should go to these businesses and talk to all the employees and find out if they know something. We'll talk soon. I'll be posting more videos. Justice for the community, the victims, victims' families. Hopefully whoever did this gets caught and taken off the streets immediately.
God bless.